ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's my third. It's my third? Yeah, it's my third ever live shout cast. I need you lot to let me know about my volumes compared to the shooting. So when I start specking people and I'm talking and you're hearing the bullets go off and all that good stuff, just let me know. Am I too loud, too quiet? You want me louder? You want me quieter? You want the game louder? You want the game quieter? You know, the usual. Um, yeah, I mean, I should be, I'm thinking the volume should be okay. I need to still mess around with it, but it's like, you know, when I pronounce P's, the microphone kind of pops a little bit if it's too loud. So, yeah, let me know, let me know. But, my third shoutcast, and it is going to be Finland versus Czech Republic. I'll run through the lineups. On the Finland side, we have Haz, Leku, Letu, Swanidius, Tony, and Wally. And on Czech Republic, CPU, Denton, Green Klon, Lou, Rifleman, and Sklamak. And I'm going to try really hard to not say Glean Kron, like I was saying last time. I mean, I already, said it, I already said it once, but I nearly said it a few more times. But yeah. I'm hoping this game's going to be close. The past two times I've said that, the games haven't really been that close. But we can hope. We can hope. Czech Republic, the last match that I did cast of them, they were against Norway. And they were looking quite strong. Quite strong. And Finland was against Netherlands, which is the last one I casted for Team Finland. And Netherlands kind of, uh, put it kindly, dismantled uh, Team Finland's defense on Gold Rush. But Radar was very close. I think that if Finland had... Maybe a minute or two more. They would have potentially got that. They would have potentially got it. But we'll see. Hopefully this game's close. This game's going to be a good one. And the maps, I think, are Gold Rush. Is it Gold Rush? Gold Rush and Frostbite? I think it is. Let me just have a look at the server situation. I mean, it is on radar right now, so... I mean, I could be completely wrong. Excellent. We are still waiting well. on people to connect. What I'll do is... I'll get rid of that. I'm going to give you some of this. And Webby did replace, I think it was Leku in the last off here. And Webby did play well. Oh, Tony, Tony updated me already. So it is Webby again for Leku. Bro, you need to you need to put this stuff on Hello. GTV. Hello. Put it up on GTV, you make me look bad. You know, I, I make the lineups all nice and fancy. And you tell me that people are getting replaced. But yeah, Webby did replace Leku. Uh, last offy and Webber did play very well actually. He was like the one of the standout performers for Team Finland on Gold Rush against Team NL. So we'll see if he can replicate that. Hello. Wait, is it radar? Right Why am I thinking Gold Rush? Let me go in GTV right now. Hold up. It is Gold Rush. Gold Rush and Frostbite, according oh, to yeah. Games TV. Games TV. Still waiting for a couple of people. Whoops. Anyone want to take a take a gamble in in chats? Who's gonna win? 
Team Finland are favourites for this match. Heavy favourites. But I don't know, I think the Czechs might have a little bit of surprise in them. They might have a little bit of surprise. They might do. There we go, Gold Rush. It's nice seeing Frostbite as a second map, something a little bit different, something that can cause an upset potentially. Medic, medic, medic. Could <sighs> cause an upset, so I am actually, I can't believe I'm saying it, but looking forward to Frostbite. Guys, like, can you hear me okay? Too loud. I think they're too loud, actually. I think. I did call him Glee. Yeah, the game was a little bit. Oh no, he's actually. <laughs> He's changed his name, it's gonna put me off. Oh no, that's gonna 100% get me. But yeah, what was I saying? Since you asked, personally I say, drop the in-game audio a bit. Yeah, so this is a delayed, so I'm guessing I've already dropped it by the time I address your message. It is a two, three minute delay. But yeah, I did notice I had it on a bit too high compared to what I usually have on when I shout cast, so. Barely heard you in the Let me know now, let me know now. Because I have lowered it since you said that. Audio is the bane of my existence. But I appreciate, appreciate it though. Thank you, thank you. Did ask Raz to, to help out as well, but you know, Raz being Raz, it's useless. Probably AFK. Bye. Bye. But keep me updated throughout the map. If you can't hear me, if you can't hear me, just let me know and I will adjust accordingly. But hopefully it's okay. No. Potentially. Looks like we're only waiting for Swanee. Last man standing. And we're going to have Czech Republic on the ally side attacking Gold Rush. There to fight. And we're going to have Team Finland on the defense. And we're getting this underway. 10 seconds until we are fight. And I'm hoping for a good match. We'll see if uh, Czech Republic can pull out any surprises. And ladies and gentlemen, fight. we are fight, and I always want to. I always, I'm always interested in checking the ally side. Make sure they do have a cover ops. Gonna be looking to destroy the CP if it does get built. CPU coming up against a little bit of resistance on the side. Wally does jump down. I need just to get a kill. Team Finland are pushing a little bit. Nice grenades coming in on the self kill for Team Finland, picking up a couple of kills, but they do get revived. CPU just runs straight into sight. Swanee's waiting for him in the corner. And Denton against Tony. Denton rifled very well in their match against Norway. Let's see if he could keep up with Tony in this match. Klamak, surprise! Trying to, Tony's trying to get the mine down. Let's get shot in the back of the head by Webe. Allows Tony to put the mine down, throws a grenade, self kill comes in. And we have Letu. Kind of surprised Green Clone on the side, he does manage to do so. He gets the kill, and falls away. And he's going to be waiting patiently. This 
side push surely is imminent. CPU peeks his head in and then disappears. And now Czech Republic come again. Sklamak and Greenclon kind of pushing to the side there. A nice rifle by Tony. Manages to get the kill. And the self kill comes in as well. Rifleman with two kills on the Thompson. Heavy push there on the side. I was reading chat, I was a little bit distracted. We have Tony as his cut out. Work cut out for him. Nice right from Tony. Does manage to get dent on. Gets to give as well. Can he continue the little little spree? Pulls out a Luger. Manages to get the, the kill onto Green and Sklamak falls as well. No revives coming in for the Czech Republic side. We're gonna have Lou jumping in. Let's get taken down. The revives do not come in. Rifleman a little bit slow with that revive and self kills will come in for Czech Republic. Don't want to risk that full spawn. And this is a good opportunity for Tony to push side with the spawn kill grenade. Doesn't connect with that one, but this rifle will connect. And that will put Greenclon on a full spawn temporarily. He does get picked up. And Finland very aggressive on this side. Webbe is going to be pushing. And Green manages to run past two Finland members while he is waiting. He's going to be staying out inside. Against CPU and Sklamak. Nice double Good grenade from Lou at the main area, and I heard I heard some construction. Only temporarily. That, was, that must have been very close to getting kill revived in the tank, that engineer. But Team Finland hold on to fight another day, and it looks like Rifleman causing a little bit of issue at the main gate. to get a nice kill onto Haz. Game still loud? Alright, let me know now, let me know now. 11 minutes, 44 seconds. Rifleman still being annoying at the front gate. Tony with a nice two-man rifle at the back. And Rifleman is going to stick here, see if he could do any sort of damage, any sort of full spawns to the Team Finland side. He does manage to take down Haz, doesn't get the kill, uh, the Gibbs, sorry, and Haz is going to get picked up. Round two of this fight and Haz just come out on top. And this is going to give Team Finland the opportunity to push very aggressive. Haz will get the landmine down on main. And Tony, it looks like there's still some uh, Czech Republic members at back and Tony does come in with a nice rifle. Sends Green flying. Unable to pick up the revive and Tony chases that kill down with the K43. And Team Finland, 11 minutes left, looking very comfortable on this defense. Although the name I keep seeing popping up is Rifleman for the Czech Republic side. Webbe coming in with two kills, has with a kill of his own, and there's three Czech Republic members at the back. Nice rifle from Tony, he's gonna cause a lot of havoc at that back area, does manage to kill one. But the revives do come in. Sklamak does get picked up. And Wally's going to be pushing very aggressively at this tower. Does get the gib. And it looks like Wally's going... Well, he wants to play a game called Where's Wally? In Czech Republic. Can't really find him. There's going to be four people from Czech Republic pushing up this back. And they're going to get, they're going to get met with Webbe and Tony. Raining down bullets. Has and Letu coming in with two of his own. I'm pretty sure that was the flank, and it just seems like it was the flank. Uh, Letter did come from the side all the way up back, shot them in the butt, and you know how it is. He's going to push super aggressive. 20 seconds left on his respawn, and he's going to be causing a lot of damage. Only temporarily, but Tony's going to follow that up with a rifle kill on the side. Tony comes up with another K43. He does manage to get taken down by the Czech Republicans. The revive does come in. And it just feels like Finland being really annoying for Czech Republic. There's no set defense for Team Finland. They're just flanking you constantly. That's what it feels like. It feels like once Czech Republic have some sort of some sort of momentum, Team Finland coming with loads of flanks and just destroy that attack. And I say that just you playing by Sklamak. Hold up. He's trying to see if he can prevent his full spawn. He doesn't because, like I said, flank Tony comes in from side with the flank and. Uh, Takes it out and that Letu with the self kill grenade does manage to take down Green Con on the first from Denton by himself at back. Nice little drive by aim from Webbe and Tony's gonna see if he can. Yeah, he can. 
finished. No, you can't. Denton's made his way inside. I thought he had that. I thought he killed him for some reason. Wifeman and Green Clon with two kills for the Czech Republicans. Denton's going to be running all the way up back. Nice little shot. Webby with two kills of his own. Wally with the MP40 kill. And Tony's just going to be playing superbly. A rifle kill, a K43, and Denton's going to be left all alone. Surely not able to do much. Staying alive for quite a while. Somehow. The score is 0-0. I should actually update that. I do have an overlay for it. See, I'm a, I'm a noob shoutcaster. I'm a noob shoutcaster, Sebes. I need to know this. I should have put the, the overlay on. But, I'll do it after this round ends. Webby with a, a grenade from the heavens manages to take down Lou. But Denton's going to be pushing in on the side. Finds Wally. Wally goes flying. Doesn't manage to die. Somehow he's still alive. And Tony comes in with a two-man rifle grenade. He's going to follow it up with the, with the Luger kill. Decides to change to the, the rifle and does take down Lou. And Tony's rifling very, very well. As expected. Fantastic rifler. And that grenade might cause some damage to Czech Republic. Tony's didn't, but Letu's did. Catches Denton on the side. And he isn't going to move his mouth. He's going to keep it dead still. And get off a lot of damage. Does retreat a little bit. And Czech Republic are struggling. And I mean, Tony is picking up a lot of kills. But it's not just Tony. It's pretty much everyone from Team Finland. Chipping in. Doing fantastic stuff. And with seven minutes left, it's not looking too good for Czech Republic. They're closing in. Team Finland are closing in on a four hold at this tank at this rate. And it doesn't seem like Czech Republic are anywhere near. I mean, they did get on tank once, but very, very shortly because they just died straight away. And that rifle was really weird. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of a graphic bug. Tony with a nice little double kill. Takes down Sklamat with the Luger. Rifleman with the strike, seeing if he could do anything. Greenclon does kill Webby on the Thompson. And that was a full spawn. And Denton and Greenclon on this back area. Nice rifle. Wally with two kills. Make it three. MP40 kills. And he shuts down any potential that Czech Republic had there. And it seemed like they were about to break through. Early. And there's a heavy, heavy main push. CPU, Rifleman coming with kills. CPU's just all over this tank. Lou on the landmine. Nice grenade there comes in. Gets the gib onto the engineer. And Haz is going to replenish those mines. And Wally, Wally is going to push out main. Come up against Sklamak. Takes him down on a full spawn. Going to give comms that. There's only one main. And Team Finland are going to be more than prepared. You see the grenades coming in. Side flank for Czech Republic. Green and Denton left alive at the tower. Webby comes flying in and out back. Does manage to get a kill. Denton with a nice reaction rifle manages to kill him. And it looks like a heavy four man push from Czech Republic at the back. Can Tony do anything for this? He can't because he gets taken down pretty much straight away. The revives come in. Has with two MP40 kills. And this is the last ditch defense from Team Finland. Denton goes jumping in on the tank. Manages to put the pliers on it and they manage to get the tank. Five minutes left and I wonder if Czech Republic can somehow snowball this and get multiple objectives at once. And the, the tank barrier is going to look to be built by Team Finland. Has is still alive. And I'm pretty sure he would have put all of his charge on this barrier. And I'm just wondering if he can get any more. Denton does take him down. The revive does come in from Swanee. And Haz is going to jump right back onto that tank. Czech Republic. Someone was at the tank. And I don't know. Did he self-killed? I missed it. I think someone was on the tank. But wasn't there to, to stop Haz building this tank barrier. And that's a huge blow for Czech Republic. And a win for Team Finland. Because... Czech Republic are going to have to invest a lot trying to get this barrier and it's not going to be easy against Team Finland that are playing with this much confidence. Nice rifle from Tony. Kills Denton on the K43. CPU. Doing a little bit of spawn killing. Wally with two MP40 kills. 
And yeah, Team Finland just all over this plan. Any sort of potential. Any sort of potential. Is gone. Only temporarily. Lou does try and sneak a dynamite. But you've got three players from Team Finland on that CP balcony. It's not going to be easy. And you're not going to get that done by yourself. Has with a full, full bar. Decides to use it on a dynamite for the CP. Sorry from Wally on that side. It does take down Lou, which is the engineer, and let's follow the medic does die. And with three minutes ten seconds well, three minutes fifteen seconds left, pretty much, I don't think that Czech Republic are gonna be Well, making it into bank getting the golden escort in the truck. And usually this is the shout caster curse, so they might just prove me wrong here and do everything at once, but Tony with two landmine kills is gonna be proving my point a little bit. Seems a bit, a bit tough for Czech Republic. Let's say that at least. I'm struggling to get anywhere near this tank barrier to construct it. Webby with, an, with one kill. Wally does come in with two. And yeah, just complete control from Team Finland over this over this tank barrier. As you can see, you just got the annoying little flanks coming in. The revive doesn't come in from green. And Webby is going to do fantastic work to deny that plan. Spawn kill comes in from Webby. Not successful with the grenade. But Denton's successful with his rifle. Does take him out. And yeah, so that was uh, a very dominant, dominant hole from Team Finland. I mean... It wasn't even just a solo effort on Team Finland's part. I feel like everyone chipped in. Tony had some really good plays. They were, he was completely denying the back push for Czech Republic most of the time. But then Wally and um, Letu were coming in with quite a lot of kills as well with the flanks. And yeah, I mean, what can I say? It's kind of like business as usual for Team Finland. And we'll see if uh, Czech Republic can do any any sort of similar hold on the defense as Team Finland have done. Dynamite planted. Dynamite does go down at the end. A little bit too late. A little bit too late. How's my volumes, chat? How's my volumes? Good, good, bad. Too loud, too low. Perfect. A bit doing a bit of aim practice. And the barrier is destroyed. Webby with the grenade nearly takes Rifleman down. Comes flying in with two kills. Tank does get repaired. The tank is past the first barrier. But yeah, with that, Team Finland will take a full hold on Gold Rush, and that will be one zero to Team Finland. And I'll check the the scores quickly before I uh, put the layout, uh, the scoreboard up and stuff. And stuff. Good game. Webby, top fragger. And yeah, 5.2 for Wally, 5.6 for Tony. Like I said, a fantastic rifling work. 5.2 for Haz, doing the engineering stuff on the tank. Rifleman with 5.7k damage. And like I said, he was the name that was popping up for me for uh, Czech Republic. And he was doing fantastic, actually. Um, let me put these scores up. Un momento. Oh wait, okay, so it's up there. Hold up. New streamer, guys. New streamer. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, but if I go here, it's not showing. So if I did this, 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 it shows. Are we good? I think we're good. Fight. We are good. Don't let them steal the tank. And before Up I can finish that, we're going to start a second round. 
Gonna crouch, catch green. Pushing here on the side. And the team Finland are starting off very, very aggressively. Has does manage to take out Green Clon. Rifle comes in from Denton. There's a temporary hold. And we have three Finnish players on this side area. Lexu does fall. Doesn't manage to get picked up. Wally falls shortly after. And self kills will come in from Team Finland. Just to reset. Tony was the last man standing. And he's going to get a headshot for his troubles off Rifleman. And Rifleman was the standout player for Czech Republic. And we'll see if he can do anything to replicate that on defense. Does manage to get a kill. The revive does come in. And it looks like Team Finland. I say Team Finland. Mr. Letu is at the back, only temporarily. Didn't expect Rifleman to come charging around the corner and takes him out. It's good, but your mouth could be a little bit louder. Okay. All right, now. Is it okay? Let me know now. Let me know now. Let me know. I appreciate the, the feedback. I don't want too much, like noise popping in the mic when I pronounce my P's. Anyway, back to the game. CPU has a Thompson to hand. And he's going to see if he can get any damage off. And he's going to call that heavy Team Finland pushing inside and Team Finland have managed to make it into the side. Has Engin Engineer SMG does get revived. Swanee does go down and Webe and Has holding this side area. Holding it quite effectively. Has does pick up a Thompson kill and reinforcements do come in. Letu, can he get the revive? No, he can't. And Tony and has four. He can actually. Letu does. And then someone else has jumped in. Wally on the Engineer SMG manages to jump in. Main gate. Czech Republic were completely distracted by four Team Finland members at the side. And Wally manages to somehow jump his way through main. Tony with two kills. And Czech Republic have been taken by surprise and Lou is trying to get this barrier. I'm pretty sure he put all his charge on that. So Team Finland are going to have to do some impressive spawn killing to stop Czech Republic. Webby with the Panzer Pulse. He doesn't manage to get anyone and that is so unlucky. That was so unlucky. I was expecting huge things. Huge things. Uh, uh, we do have Rifleman up, up at the tank. Let two with the knife on to Sklamak. Rifleman's going to see if he can get any spawn kill. Fantastic grenade from Rifleman. Does manage to take down Haz. And did a lot of damage to the other members with him. But the tank is being escorted and the, the, tr uh, the tank barrier has been reset. Nice spawn kill rifle from Tony. Gonna throw a grenade. Not successful onto to Rifleman. Rifle comes out from Tony again. Still not successful. Rifleman does manage to pick up a kill onto Haz. Then Tony finally manages to take down Rifleman. Before he gets taken down by Green Clones. 9mm Luger. Czech Republic. Nice nade from Wally. Does send Denton to his grave. Lou is the last man standing. Oh, that's unlucky. I don't know how that support fire killed Lou in that CP. But Finland are playing with uh, quite a lot of momentum as the tank is nearly in its last resting position. Can you put Siren Crosshair? Ooh. I mean, I just didn't white because, you know, just. I just copied Merlin here. I'm, I'm just being honest. So. <laughs> Anyway, we have the last stage of Gold Rush and Czech Republic have 10 minutes, 50 seconds to hold this gold from Team Finland's hand. And I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. We'll see. We'll see if they can. Because Team Finland are playing with a lot of momentum right now. And we're going to see. Where's Webby looking to go with this, uh, with this Panzer? He knows it's a strike. Retreating a little bit. Oh, that's uh, very unlucky. <laughs> Could have been huge, but uh, we won't know. We won't know. CPU does push, push aggressive, catches Letu. Has does revenge. His Finnish comrade picks up the revive. Rifleman is going to try his hardest with Green Clone at his 
old MG to try and hold off this attack. They don't manage to do so. The Gibbs do come in. Objective taken. And the objective is taken by Wally. And I... I'm curious Wally, whether he'll be able to get away. He is pushing out. And he's just going jumping straight over. Does manage to take down CPU. Lose the last man alive. Doesn't manage to stop. And Wally is just going to jump all the way to the truck. And yeah, it's kind of kind of like business as usual for the Team Finland side. Czech Republic unable to really deal with the pressure that Team Finland are putting them under. The 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 just coming with the kill, does pick up a revive. Wally does get a cold kill, but it's very short-lived as the Team Finland spawns do come in and they're just going to jump on this truck. Spawn kill, airstrike goes out. Is this going to do anything? Swanee's looking for it. Doesn't manage to do anything. Tony, the rifle grenade. Make that two. Webby with a kill of his own. And Team Finland are just going to pretty much escort this all the way. Pretty much uncontested. And... What can I say? What can I say? Swanee, a victim of road rage. And yeah, I mean, Good game. this is why, this is why I was looking forward to uh, Gold Rush, uh, not Gold Rush, uh, Frostbite. And Rifle Man is top fragger for the Czech Republic side. And we're going to have a look at damages. Show me the damages. Tony, 8.2k. Wally, 6.7. Rifle Man up there with 7.5k. And what can I say? Rifleman trying his best. Trying his best. But like I was saying, this is why I'm looking forward to Frostbite because you can have teams that confidently beat you on Gold Rush or beat you on Supply. But when it comes to Frostbite, it can be a totally different story. Same with Adler Nest. And sometimes potentially same with Radar. So, Prepare to fight. we'll see if we're in for a little bit of a surprise. And we're we're going to find out very soon. Sec 10 seconds left. I need to update the scores. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I forgot this last time, actually. Bang. Okay, we'll see it in a second. I'm going to have... Two engineers. That strike could be huge for Team Finland. It's not because it doesn't manage to get the two engineers. But that one does. Green Claw with the three man support fire kill manages to take down three of the Team Finland attackers. And Haz is going to see if he can do anything with this grenade. He's going to blow himself up with the grenade. And that's uh, quite unfortunate. Let's get revived. Panzerfaust not going to do too much. CPU holding the CP area. Has is going to be pushing super aggressive. Nice kill from CPU and a nice gib as well. That gib was one Luger bullet away because of the grenade that blew up next to him. But he will get taken down by Wally, and Wally has claimed the CP area. Was that just a three man from Denton? Tony's going to see if he can replicate that. Doesn't manage to get one. Pulls out his Colt, doesn't manage to follow up. And Denton carries on with the Luger 9mm kill. And Denton's going to see if he can shut down this attack once again. Dodges the rifle from Tony. Tony's going to be pushing aggressively. And that is quite unfortunate because that kind of surrenders the lower area. And he, I'm pretty sure he just missed someone running on CP. Yeah, he did. But he does follow up with a nice kill. Does manage to get the kill on Tony. Does manage to get the give. And he's going to see if he can find Letu with this as well. Nice headshot. And he does find Letu. And throw the grenade. To no avail. No engineers in the CP yet. But that nade could be huge. Nearly manages to kill Haz. The CP does get built. And Team Finland are going to be pushing in. Pretty much on this next stage of Frostbite. Tony's just going to go flying straight into the Czech Republic spawn because Tony's rifle did manage to kill one. Sklamak is going to come for reinforcements. He dies as well. 
dynamite planted. And Czech Republic are crumbling slowly from this Team Finland, Finland attack. Swanee follows up with a kill onto Green Clon. Webe, last man standing. He is now, he does die. Self kills come in from Team Finland. And Czech Republic going to see if they can hold any sort of. Uh, any sort of defense. When I say that, three kills do come in for the Czech Republicans. Denton, Greencon, and CPU with kills. Sklamak as well. So nice individual play by Czech Republic. Everyone pitching in. Everyone pitching in with kills. Denton with the aggressive play onto service. Fires a rifle. Doesn't manage to kill anyone. Throws a grenade as he's running away, but it seems like a lot of pressure. Has just jumps in onto Lou and it's a heavy Finland push on this service area. Nice grenade from Sklamak. Two-man grenade from Sklamak. Denton jumps in with a rifle grenade. He gets taken down. Letu and Tony are gonna be trying to kill Sklamak. Last man standing on this on the docks. Does manage to fall. And objective taken. Letu does pick up the objective and make his way service. And I'm just gonna see. Anyone doesn't really look like anyone from Czech Republic are given a cheeky, cheeky chase. But that rifle out of nowhere. Tony does take down Green. Green gets revived, and we'll see what kind of CP transmitter hold Czech, uh, Czech Republic do have against Team Finland. Wally's support fire does manage to get rifleman, and that's not the guy you want down if you're Czech Republic. Wally. Wally, I mean Webby just flies up the ladder, does take down Denton, does take down Lou. And he might have just uh, cleared this out for Team Finland. And CPU, last man standing, surely he can't do anything 1v5. And Letu is going to be securing and transmitting these documents very safely. 4 minutes, 21 seconds. And that is a quick time. That is a quick time, but like I said, frostbite being Good frostbite, game. you never know. You never know, brothers. You never know. And Denton was the standout man for Czech Republic that time around. 2k damage. 1.7 from Greenclon. And on the other side, Tony and Webe standing out for Team Finland. But this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Potentially... Potentially the last round of this match. Unless Czech Republic can pull pull together an insane an insane attack. We're gonna find out right now and get out Denton with the rifle going strafing in. Decides to go straight for the plant. Gonna throw this dynamite down. Unless Tony has something to say about it. He doesn't. Dynamite does get planted. Wally with the support kill, a little bit too late gonna be doing a whole lot and pretty much the standard attack you, you expect and uh, they do they do decide to get the dynamite planted on the storage wall and that's gonna make team Finland a little bit concerned because they're gonna have to invest people to watch this storage wall as well three minutes 35 seconds for Czech Republic to clinch this map away from Team Finland. And Tony's doing well in that lower area. He's trying to get his point of view. Has his Luger out. Self kills do come in from Team Finland. They're going to go running onto the CP area. And it looks like Team Finland are under a lot of pressure. Tony coming in from the spawn does manage to find the back of CPU. Helps has taken down. Finds Denton. Takes him down as well. And it looked like uh, Team Finland were a bit off guard and they were by green green just gets a kill tony does manage to take him out and it looks like uh, czech republic are all over this office area and they are indeed cp was built tony with a nice grenade and denton is he gonna go for service nope because one of his teammates did swanny with a nice two man landmine two minutes 35 seconds and this is getting uh Quite close, quite, quite close. More so than Team Finland would like it to. Oh, we're gonna see. Self-kill grenade comes out from Tony. Does manage to kill Rifleman. 
And Denton's gonna see if he can spawn kill rifle off. He doesn't manage to and has takes him down from that service area. Let's see, let's see. Has does does fall at that service, and Tony's gonna see if he can provide some sort of last line defense. The spams do come in. Webbe and Swanee with kills of their own. Sklamak with a kill. Replies to Czech Republic as well as Rifleman. And Team Finland under a lot of pressure here. Tony and Letu, last man alive. Tony's very low. He gets taken down by the grenade and the Thompson. Has trying to watch the ladder. He gets taken down by Lou. Wally with the grenade dies as well. And Webbe manages to kill Lou. Get the revive in. And Letu's just going to go jumping over. Clear out that service area. And he's going to be pushing very aggressively. And that looked very, very shaky for Team Finland. They managed to pull it back, and Letu's on the the super flank. Manages to self kill. One minute, twenty seconds. And I mean, unless Czech Republic have another another push like that. Ooh, grenades all over the place. Webbe with a grenade. Wally with a two man grenade in that service. And Team Finland is starting to play with a little bit more confidence, and is catching Czech Republic off by guard. And it doesn't look like uh, Czech Republic are going to be having any luck. That was, I think that was their push to do it. It was very close. They had they had control over service, but the, the respawns came in from Team Finland and they retook that service area. Unless Lou has anything to say about it, he doesn't because Webby does shoot him in the back. Webby does get taken down by Rifleman. And Rifleman's going to come up against Letu, who takes the objective, tries to jump over. Surely you can't do it. Not with 24 seconds left. 22, 21. The respawn comes in. He's going to be caught off guard by Wally and he can't do anything. Wally does kill him and secure it. And with that, with that secure, he secures the match for Team Finland. And that is a 4-0 to Team Finland. GG's are being called. And that's a GG's for me because... I mean... I don't know. It was getting a bit close towards the, towards the end there. I mean, I think if if it was a couple of more minutes on the clock, Team Finland might have found themselves in a spot of bother. And everyone's left, so I can't really show you the scores, you know. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, it is four zero.